In this video, we're going to show you guys how to transform your crappy old Land Rover seats from this to this. So as you saw just there, we're going to be retrimming these two Defender front seats that I picked up for a pittance. I'd say they're in a fairly typical state for most Land Rover seats, but we're going to be putting on some brand new Britpart retrim kits to bring them back to as new condition. These kits are available for a very reasonable price and they include everything you need to completely renovate your seats, including new foams, covers and fixings. And they're available from both Britpart and Exmoor trim, but you can guess which one is most expensive out of those two. Uh, everything you read on the internet says that the Brit Part ones are just as good as the Exmoor ones, so if it was my money, and it is, I'd be saving it and uh, going with the Brit Part ones. There you go. You want to spin it around and take the C click off for uh, a yeah. hammer and screwdriver? Anyway, we're doing something. Anything? No. Or maybe in the box, I don't know. Anyway. Not broken. Swan. Yeah, I think I'll find best Jesus Christ, what happened there? There you go, Jesus. <laughs> Hope you learned something. Hope you learned something there. That didn't happen in the, in the brick part, did it? Maybe it did. Mm. I think all that reminds me of. It's a yellow old phone. What is it? I don't know. Um, continue rolling it down. Yeah. He's just gonna dust it off. He's putting his adhesive. Putting it on he just doesn't make it mess about, does he? All in one take. Yeah. You must have done hundreds of them though. That's some turn out for the books. X more trim, you won't believe what we you found. Won't. What we found. <laughs> Amazing. So what's, what happens in there? Maybe this one was Exmoor, this one wasn't. This one was ripped apart by something on the moors. There is an act to wangling things off. Some people have it, some people don't. Yeah. More clips. Keep all that just in case. Although I did see some new bars. Yeah, I don't know about these new clips, so they're probably going to be What's that? Little drill string. Alright. Oh, this rubber strip out. They're going to be a bitch to get squeezed back in, aren't they? She's a hammer, I think he does in the video. Mm. He taps it in.
Yeah, this seems easier to do than the backrest. Yeah. Butt sweat? Yeah, I mean... Resell that. Not that bad, are they? No. T Ten years old, probably. Yeah, I mean, you can uh, do a lot worse than this in terms of Land Rover seats. It's probably why we bought this set. I mean, somebody's already stripped them down, cleaned them once in their lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. More trim again. You won't believe it. You won't believe it. www.xmortrim.com So it's in the .com era as well that they were done. Yeah. Go on. When was that? Which must be between the years of 2000 and now. I'm sure. Hanging. Hanging help. That would be cohesion. If it's adhesive on adhesive, then it's cohesive. Mm. Ramirez would be proud. Yeah. That's how you do it. Why don't we just carry on with that? <laughs> Literally, not anything in the world. You'd rather carry like a. Massive Another bag full of clips. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Fire behind me. Let's get that uh, glue wherever it's gone. Where is it? Nemesis Inferno. Choose that first. Why did you Why did you buy a glue called Nemesis Inferno? <laughs> why not? Last thing you want is your uh, brick part seats falling apart. Mm. Cotton candy. If in doubt, just uh, do what the brick part man said. What do you do with that? You're supposed to spray both sides, by the way, with the contact adhesive. He didn't. And he doesn't know what contact adhesive is. Seems good. Wood in there. Yeah. You want it for fat? <laughs> Spatula. <laughs> really? It's a it's <laughs> That's brilliant. It's all bent as well. Yeah. It's all smashed their head against it. an impact. What have you got in there, burgers? What the hell's that plastic on top? Don't know. Look at the orange bit where someone's sweaty head's been against it though. Oh, put it to one side. And put that on your head. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what some of the people at the Land Rover show are wearing. Yeah. Something like that. Good, comfy. Right. Does it fit? Go on. <laughs> the Archbishop of Canterbury. <laughs> Archbishop of Brick Park. <laughs> that does look tight. This is how Michael Phelps uh, gets dressed before he wins the team of Olympic swimmers. Swim.
My arm. Yeah. These uh, <laughs> squares of milk bottle plastic are, are to uh, reinforce the potato sack mesh here. As we know, potato sack is one of the weakest <laughs> materials, especially brick part potato sacks. Painted potato sack. Mm. Pile it there. So we just stretch it. Stretch it. Don't know what the point is. Got them. Yeah. Just farting about. So what's that called? The lumbar support pad. And the electronic? This is a Waco Magic Heat MSH50. Mm. What Waco. that stands for, I'm not sure. Waco have now changed name to Dobby something or other. So let me get this right down the hole. Tricky. And then that wire is going to run along there and then pop out the side of the seat just there. Yeah. Okay, next step. Put it in there, it can never come out again. It's locked in for good. Let's 
see that hit that flick. That's it. Security measure, I suppose. Whilst he's in, you can't adjust it either. That's the can't adjust it up and down. Take an adjustment. So yeah, this turned out to be a pretty successful little project. I'm really pleased with how they turned out, and I hope this video might have been some use to anyone who's out there giving it a go. Um, and yeah, it's, it's nice to take a little break from engine conversion stuff and you know do something a little bit different. In terms of price, this was also a really cost-effective way of getting a decent pair of seats into my truck. So it was £35 for the pair of poopy seats, uh, around £62 each for the brick park kits, and 55 quid for the heated seat kit from eBay, which was new old stock. So that's a total of 214 pounds for a pair of like new heated seats. It's not too shabby. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. I love hearing comments and questions and suggestions from you guys. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Please don't talk about